Okay, hello everybody, what's going on? This is Muhammad, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the total number of possible rectangles that could contain these two red circles uh, at the same time. So the problem is that we're having this eight by eight square, okay, which is basically divided into 64 uh, squares. We have a total of 64 squares where we have these two uh, red circles that are sketched inside uh, these two particular squares. So how can we find the total number of possible rectangles that could contain these two red circles at the same time? So basically, uh, we can pick this rectangle here as a possible rectangle that contains these two circles at the same time. Or it might be this rectangle here, okay? So that's another possible rectangle or it might be this rectangle this big rectangle here at the same time so the the question is that how mu how many possible rectangles we can have here that contain these two red circles at the same time and the answer to this problem is pretty much trivial and intuitive how okay so the idea here is that in order to define a a rectangle then we need to pick an upper line okay and also a lower line a right line and basically a left line so if we do that that would determine that this particular uh, rectangle here a square by the way is considered a rectangle so a square is a special case of a rectangle so this is also can be considered a rectangle so we can define a rectangle by picking an upper line a lower line a right line a left line so by that we can define a unique rectangle which is basically inside these four lines okay so in order to uh, pick a, tr a, t a rectangle that contains these two red circles together at the same time, then the upper line has to be above the upper circle. So it can be either this, I'm sorry, it can be either this line here, or this line here, or this line here, or this line here. So with that, we are, we have four possibilities basically for the upper line. For the lower line, it has to be below the, the lower circuit so that the rectangle would contain the two red circles. So it can be either this line here, or this line here, or finally this line here, okay? And so we have three possibilities for the uh, lower. So we have four possibilities for the upper line, three possibilities for the lower line. Now, how about the right line? We have either this possibility here, or this line here, or this line here. So basically, we have three possibilities for the right line. For the left line, which has to be to the left of the lower circle, so that the rectangle that we end up with would contain the two red circles inside it. So it can be either this one here, or this line here, or this line here, or this line here, or finally this line here, okay? So how many possibilities we have for the left line? Five possibilities. So that would let us count, okay, for the total number of rectangles that could contain these two red circles inside. So how, so the total number, total number, of rectangles is equal to 3 times 4 times 3 times 5 so that is going to be equal to 12 times 15 and that is equal to 180 different rectangles and that's the answer to this problem so basically we have 800 uh, I mean 180 possible uh, rectangles that could contain these two red circles at the same time. If you like this video, hit like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything in the future. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.